Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching the Power Talk Show. Now, this evening, we're having another interesting conversation that's very related to every single person, I believe. We want to talk about black tax. Now, this is a conversation that I don't think we've had enough of. Now, it's something that happens very frequently, particularly in African and black Households. So I want us to define what it is and I want us to get into the details of this because I think it cuts across every single household and every single individual. Uh, so joining me is, uh, we have Beryl Omondi who is an entrepreneur and then we have Mali who is a media personality. Karibu Nisana. Thank you. Thank you. And I love the guests, Leo. <laughs> to let a variety, to when it comes to black tax, it affects everyone or it doesn't. Mm. So we want to get the perspective of the gentleman and a first-born daughter. So before to answer conversation, because you might be wondering what is black tax, black tax is a term that originated in South Africa. It refers to money that professionals and others with higher income give to their parents, siblings, or other family members often out of the obligation or a deeply ingrained sense of family responsibility. So this money usually caters to needs such as paying bills for elderly parents, school fees for siblings, or building family homes. So I want us to talk about e-conversation because so many people, the minute you become an adult, you have an income, unapigwanga simu, mtu amegongwa, sijunani ameumia, tuma pesa ya shamba. We want to understand the obligation, where does it come from? What limit are you allowed to give? Up to what limit are you allowed to say, this is how much I can offer and hapa siwezi. So we've asked you a question on our social media platforms, which is at Y254. The question is, is it a must to support family members and relatives after achieving uh, financial success sorry so I want you to go on our socials right now to Ambia do you think it's a must for you to support your family members what when you the minute women are successful financially do you have to support them um, so to kick start a conversation let's start with uh, Beryl you you're a firstborn daughter yeah. you've just shared with us yes Tell us, what is your experience of black tax? At what age, Ama, at what point did they start <coughs> making phone calls and akwambia, sasa beril, nanini mgonjwa, tuma pesa ya hii. At what point did they start? Um, I think uh, it, it did not look like uh, they, they forwarded it to me directly. It's a responsibility, I think, as African children, we have been nurtured as we grown up, that as, as a firstborn, there's a there's an age, ukifika, there's some responsibility to zime, zilikuwa ngatu zimekwa tu. It's not a must for you to be told. When you start working, ni kama tu wamesemanga tu, ni wao utashugulikia fee. Remember, like as ladies wasemanga, right now I can provide for myself, right? When mom wants to go somewhere, I'm like, mama nataka nguwa, nataka bag. There's no way it was written. But behind our parents' um, mind, or nasemanga kwa archives, it was akili. I know that there is something that she requires. And mom also knows, or dad also knows that my daughter is there. When the siblings want something, it's a responsibility that has been there for us from very, very... Mm. Like it's not something that to to and it's something that to me I feel like at some point it looks like an oppression. Mm. Yes. So, ni unspoken <coughs> rule. Ni wewe tu ndo firstborn. So at some point umemaliza shule, umemaliza siju campus, umesema tu uko na ka job kako. Tuma pesa. Pocket money ya siju last born, siju nunua unga leo. It's you're not told, you are expected to give this amount. Yes. So for the gents, majo yeah. wanaume wana kwanga na financial obligations nyingi sana. sana. Yes. Yes. Mali, what's yeah. your experience? At what age did you start getting calls from kina mom na kina dad <laughs> or maybe your younger siblings about your pesa? Okay, thank you so much for this opportunity, first of all. Um, I'll say young Williams uh, Kitambo, uh, in regards to myself, um, having that <coughs> sense of uh, taking, care, taking care of maybe my siblings and uh, maybe my mom. So it's something which, for me, it started a long time ago. And uh, I saw it through my dad, when my dad, my dad had 
uh, the ability to take care of people without even asking. So for me also, ikakuja too naturally. So when I see my small sister going to school, because like I take my small sister who is at my girls uh, here national school, I do that for her. Uh, maybe f shopping, you know. Uh, my mom, when I see my mom, like I'm ever like go off for like two times or three, I'm like, why not? Let me buy for her. So it's something which just comes gener generally as a man. But also in regards to your topic, um, it happens a lot when, let's say, you you've introduced yourself and told your family, like, you know what, I have an opportunity at the moment, I'm working here and here and here. Mm -hmm. You'll f just, by you saying that, you'll find yourself having some responsibilities in the house. Like, you'll find your dad now is a bit reluctant, or your mom is a bit reluctant, Kidogo, because he knows my son is working here and there. And uh, for me, uh, I'll say I love it at times, but at times also, <laughs> Yeah, it gives you that particular pressure because mm. also you have your own responsibilities. Yeah. And what I'm getting is yeah. it's just an unspoken rule. Very true. Unafanya kazi age flani wananza ku expect. Tu unafanya kazi tu mapesa. Yeah. No one has the conversation about how much you're making or what are your responsibilities or how much are you even willing to give. Yeah. They just expect for you. And I think it's usually worse with the younger siblings. Mm -hmm. Do a younger sibling perhaps doesn't really know the value of money or how to make money. So they just expect us in the shule, mama in pate pocket money kidogo, barely ni ongeze. Do you experience that more with your younger siblings, ama does it come more from your parents? I think from the siblings is where the pressure is. At times the parents can understand, kiambia mzazi, leo sina, maybe later. If, if something comes up. Mm. But now with the siblings, if something comes up, it's not even in their dictionary. They do not understand. Like, my bro is like, <laughs> when you una, pesa iko. <laughs> like, you're like, I do not have a safe, uh, a partition of money that I plan on my budget that this is for you guys. Yeah. So whatever I mm. give, I give out of the goodwill. Yeah. That let me just chip in. But they don't understand. I think the siblings become something they are, I, they are, for me, on my side, I think they're the biggest benefactor of whatever I have yeah. compared to my parents. Because mm. when you're Nasema, there's a lot of truth in that. Mm -hmm. Because your parents work, they know the value of money. Alafu, they can understand even the economic times or some different things. Yeah. But ju, sister ako mdogo, brother ako mdogo haget, ako like, ah, suwe ni mtu mkuba, suwe nafanya kazi, mm -hmm. sina kono umekuja uko smart. Yeah. So, make it make sense. <laughs> Mali, yeah. you've mentioned that you take care of your sister, yeah. who's in high school right now. Yeah. Does she give you pressure because of the peer pressure that she's probably experiencing? <laughs> Perhaps maybe Rafiki yake ako na simu, so ana kuja kwako kule like, mama mikata kunibaya simu, so nibaya simu for my birthday. <laughs> Do you feel like you you get pressure because of what her friends or her social uh, circles give to her? Yeah. Ama inendaje? Honestly, I actually have two sisters in high school, so uh, at times I, I feel it. But... I, God has blessed me uh, to an opportunity kidogo neza peana kidogo. But also, uh, I feel that particular pressure because wakitoka shule, they have a lot of things, you know. Mtu anatoka shule, anataka umfanya one, two, three, four, five, na metoka shule, you have to go and pick her. Then after akifika nyumbani, uh, when she's interacting with her friends, atakwa to, I have a brother somewhere. So anytime she wants something, uh, she will just call, you know, mm -hmm. but, uh, and also Wakirudi Pia, I have to try as much as possible. But because like, girl child, wezi mpele katushule na panga swap. Mm. Unapaso mpange, nelea, liyo <laughs> kijana mwingine asitokeze from <laughs> somewhere. Um, Wax me, basi. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, at times, at times, uh, you, you get that particular pressure as a brother, yeah. but what can you, what will you In do? Abidi. In Abidi. You don't have a choice. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm wondering, <laughs> the way Beryl you've said, you don't plan. Most mm. of the times you don't plan and you say I have 5,000 put aside, I mm. might have 2,000 for this and that. Ina kwanga anakupigia subui, alafu you have to quickly look for money. Yeah. So, Beryl. What do you do, Senye Labda? Ukona priorities zako, ukona bills zako, Labda ni end month. Usha lipa rent, umeteke of all these other bills. 
and the little that you have ndio unapigiwa simu kuambiwa sasa i need this em, na ni emergency all the time ina kwanga yeah. we need it urgently sai sai yeah <laughs> um i think at first I lost myself with the financial jewel kona patanga at times you've used so much at home yeah. that even your personal needs on a personal level you cannot meet up then now I started to learn how to meet my needs first before you meet the others so in my what I do personally in my budget I always have like uh, my my bro is, is still he's in grade 6 so bad of pesa zake ni 20 bob <laughs> unless <laughs> he has a pressure eh we are pressure mingi unless me and then akukuja is like eh ebu nitusaidia hapo hata mbao ya sambu you yeah. see mm. yeah. his budget is not that big mm-hmm. the other one uh, is also fending for himself so i don't have a lot of on, a lot on my plate compared to the siblings but i always have to have an extra 100 shillings for him mm. because he'll come so the little things that you have to plan so what what i say that what i'm working on is i have to plan for him yeah. because at some point i also chip in on his fees mm. so i have to plan whenever i'm planning i know his plans comes after three months joshule so i'm like after three months i have to get him uh shopping the shule and all that yeah. so yeah i have to include him in my budget mm. so so far he's is i always i always say he's my kid yeah so he's the kid i'm taking care of yeah. apart from my kid yes okay. i don't know children are so <coughs> funny yeah i want to judge ya una yeah so you mfanyia shopping when was juki like to ya shule hata pisa kwa duka one kitu ako like ni buy true you know what yeah. it's 1000 they're like you know too because they really don't don't get the sense of how much money that is yeah. so when you plan it makes it easier for you i yes. feel ni kama umefinywa sana mm-hmm. now let me take it to the parents because mm-hmm. when our parents personally for me when i got my first job mm-hmm. my mom told me this at you know ukilipwa unafa upeleke hiyo pesa yako yote kwa mzazi ndio kubariki ndio sasa kupatie yako so that would happen every time yeah. so paka ati nikaanza job somewhere new nikamwambia ah ah mom si job ya kwanza ndio tulisha maliza mm-hmm. so why do i have to consistently mm-hmm. and then it brought about this conversation of disclosing how much you're earning to your parents yeah do you tell your parents how much you're earning mali mzazi wako anajua pesa ngapi unaingiza kila mwezi okay at at first at first when i started working after campus um uh, we had a discussion with my mom and my dad and um what can you say how much are you paid i told them so every time uh, i'm saying this because uh wao pia god wao wa bless they know how to hustle they know mm. how to make their own thing but kidogo lazima wange involve because tayari wako na namba uh, behind their heads unajua kijana wao wana make a kind of figure you know mm. but nowadays if i do something if i just tell them you know what god am i blessed with something i'm doing but i don't tell them the number i just tell them if you have something you want to i chip in just let me know and mm. uh, and I work my way well, to yeah it. but mm. if you tell them the number wow it doesn't gash it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they will factor themselves in your very budget true, they're very like true. ah see so you're making 14 yeah apa ka 10 ukinitumia simba simba <laughs> and you know mm. when your parents tell you that you kidogo kuna ule uzito uwezi mnyima because for them and they come you know what um unapata hii so tusaidie na hii tuzibe pengo fulani so you're like i have my own needs but when you're mesama and because you respect them and you are ni wazazi wako wameku bring to whatever you are at the mm. moment yeah. you just give out yeah mm. yeah so it helps when you don't tell if, yeah, if, the number if you don't tell the better the better yeah. the better because but at times if you earn as much as you can't tell but don't tell don't tell please don't <laughs> this advice from trusty say man yeah yeah what about you beril did you did to, maybe you can answer ungeambia mama wako uh-huh. lakini sai even with you as an entrepreneur when you're running your businesses na nini sengine pesa inaingia zaidi sengine iko a bit low so you have to balance yes do you really tell your parents this is how much i'm making ama hi month nimetengeneza hi Oh and they're watching god <laughs> <laughs> I say hello to them first shoot them yeah hatuna ubaya very sorry mom dad they just know ubaya tuna converse yeah um at first i used to until i learned my lesson 
when it came to the point, there's, there's a, I, I said earlier, there are times you give that you even forget about yourself, True. your yeah. personal needs. So I I reached a point where I was like, no, unapata you for you to take care of your personal needs, you go to depths. Yeah. So I had to learn the hard way. I think the person now facing it rough is my brother. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because but Musema, it's a process. Let him learn because at times to Mumbia, he me like ah ah, unajua pesa na pata miara sa isilipi rent. You know, mm. he's still at mom's place and he's not paying his rent. So he's like, ah, but do sleepy rent. So, but I know somewhere there he's going to learn. Yeah. But mm. the best advice I can give, do not say how much you're getting. Mm. Even if, like, let's say, I do not, I'm not on a paycheck. So I do not earn on a monthly basis. I get some cash here and there. Yeah. But I don't know if you want to ask me, ah, kuna kazi flani ili patikana. If I'm getting, mom, siku kwambia hivyo. If I'm getting 2,000, yeah. I'll say I'm getting 500. Because the 1500, remember, you have your sibling to take care of, you have your own personal needs, you have your one, two, three, two, to cut up for yourself. Yeah. So, never, me, one, I'm say, just say 30% of whatever you're getting. Mm -hmm. You'll be good. Because when they're putting you in the budget, they lose your 15% of that 30%. Yeah. Yes. Nasasa, it, it, best of what both of you are saying, it helps when you don't fully tell them. Mm -hmm. Because as much as we love our parents, we love you guys so much. Yeah. <laughs> but, sangine atasa how ukona budget, atasa how you have a life. Yeah, mm -hmm. the priorities zake ndo kila kitu. And then you put on the side. Which it helps when you don't tell, but mm -hmm. unapanga. Now that takes me to the budgeting yeah. because clearly you, you've said, Beryl, that you have to budget and you have to factor in maybe your, your siblings, your parents, all these things. How can you budget in a way that ata we mwenyewe bills zako hazikufini? Because now, let's say you're living by yourself, you're mm -hmm. paying rent, kona maji, stima, wifi, saingine, those small, small bills, not to forget even your personal expenses. So how can you budget in a way that unajwani meka this percent for my parents and another percent? Mali, how do you do that? Uh, I think for me, um, what I do mostly, it's I add honesty in my budget. And um, I'll, I'll call them. I'll tell them, you know what, uh, this and this has happened in regards to my monthly monthly uh, expenses mm -hmm. so um ile pesa nimezoea kuwapa maybe it reduce or maybe it maybe it itaongezeka mita kwa vile vile nakuwa so mm -hmm. i i create honesty with them i talk to them but i have a figure which nimi a constant like this is the amount i send to my mom and this is the amount i send to my dad mm -hmm. yeah so that is something which is always constant since i started Hustling. Yeah. Like a constant monthly kifika because I know I'm working. I'll give you this, I'll give you this. Mm. Yeah. So and at times it happens because uh unapata I don't know if maybe you can talk about it, but unapata mzai maybe akata kuomba pesa sana compared yeah. to your mom. You know? Yeah, yeah because <laughs> that, this is very honest. Yeah, yeah, my dad yeah. my dad is so hard for him to just call in because he's he's a man who knows how to make his own money. Mm. But your mom, whether it's working, she's not working. Uh, I tell yeah, you, any time, you mm. know, she'll be like, hey, <laughs> unajua na ingia chama flani. <laughs> and you sent her money yesterday. Mm. So ata ukeka, I think I try as much as possible to be very honest with them and tell them this is the amount and the budget which I'll give you monthly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nanya popio mese a very important point. Yeah. Mothers will call you <laughs> any day, any time. In the middle of the night, call like Nikona size kuna mama flani and attack pesa to my agent. Very <laughs> true. Very true. But for fathers it's different. Yeah. They yeah. really don't ask. Up until we mwenye ndo ujito leo se mota ni mkutumia hi, ya ku take something or the other. Now, Beryl, to advise when you have a budget in a way that to sing kwa debt. Because mm -hmm. we've talked about especially these days with the economy. It's very easy for you to send everything and then you realize sina pesa ya kunisukuma for the next two weeks. So in a bidi you take a fuliza, you go on mshwari, mm -hmm. you go on all these other loaning apps. How can you budget in a way that uko sawa wa mwenyewe bills zako, uko na some spending money, maybe even some saving money mm -hmm. and then kuna pesa yao? Cheryl, I'll start by saying I am not an end month person. So different from whatever my lady said, at least he has a end month and a job is a plan in India. At least he has a figure in his mind. Yeah. A person like me, Nezaka, there's that figure in India, but it's not the exact figure. So there are times you get 
extra times you get too little to even yeah. manage. Uh, what I do, any cash that I receive, I do a 50, 30, 20 roll. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very simple. Let's say I get uh, 500 shillings. We do the 50, 20, 30. Uh, on, your, on that 500, make sure you have your savings. Mm -hmm. Make sure I, the 50, let's say I get, <coughs> let, let us just break it, break it down on a normal, we are hustlers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get 500 shillings. 50% is 250. Yeah. I'm remaining with 250. So that 250, the 50%, it is what I'd give to mom. Mm. Because, okay, most of the time, I think the person that benefits from whatever I earn is my mom compared yeah. to my dad. Yeah. <laughs> whatever you're saying is true. Yeah. So let's say I give, uh, the, let's say you send 50 bob to mom. We're remaining with 200. You have your rent. You have your bills. Yeah. I have a baby to take care of. Yeah. And I also want to have fun with this 200 bob. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can imagine wherever I'm coming from. Then the 30... I always say it's for em an emergency. Having a, I have a young daughter, yeah. personally, so we always have emergencies. Yeah. Today she 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 wake up. She she's having a cold. Mm. She wants something. Then we have the twenty. That is a saving. There's a friend of mine told me one thing. Beryl, I want you to imagine you are saving abroad. I live alone, the home bank. You're saving abroad. Whereby well, for you to acquire your cash, you're going to use three to four days to acquire that money. Yeah. If you have an emergency, are you going to look for that money? Mm -mm. Because the t the, it's so tedious, like the process is so long. Yeah. So she told me, do what, look for a charm. Whereby for you to get that money, a few individuals have to do what to sign it. Yeah. And that's what I did. So my 20%, anytime I get that money, the first thing I always do is I always say thank you to a kanisa. Mm. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Christian, but I'm not religious. <laughs> yeah, that is a topic for another day. But you have to give. <laughs> yeah. I always, I always say I, I have to remove my 10% always. Mm. Then the rest, you do what you budget. But if there's something I can advise people in their 20s, those who are starting or anybody that is struggling with debts and, and money, the 50, 30, 20 rule. Yeah. It helps a lot. But it's it a does. discipline and it's a process. You don't mm. just start it. You do not just wake up. I'm still struggling with it, but it is helping. Yeah. Yes. And when you understand, it's a learning process. Because the truth is, so many people will focus on the expenses and then forget that you might need savings. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might need some rainy day money. Jukitiote mm. nezafanyika. Yeah. And I think based on the experience that most of us had over COVID, it taught so many people you need to have a backup plan. You can't just say, I'm relying on this one thing. I'm a, I have some money coming in constantly. You need to have a savings plan for you to be safe. Mm -hmm. Now, on that note, let's say, bado hujaanza kupata, hujaanza kutengeneza venye inafa. Because, yeah. you know, there's a level <coughs> where you get where you're comfortable with giving people. But before you get there, Mali, kabla yeah. sasa ufike pali penye unezafanya tadadako shopping. Yeah. Na pesa labda weni hasla ukweli, unatafuta, ukipata ni ya kukula, ukipata yeah. ni ya fair. Yeah. What were you telling your parents? What were you telling your family then? Yeah, so if, uh, if you can remember, I told you about honesty. And um, it's something which, um, it's a backbone to our family. Mm -hmm. So, um, kuna time ilikuwa na ingia hustle, IGP. Ya uh, unakuja maybe umepata. Ili umepata niyaku ya kukula and maybe to pay some rent. So, you just be honest with them. Because unawambia tu kumenda hivi, kumenda hivi. But at times also when you see their faces, um, inaku, inaku, inaku mm -hmm. So most of the time, uh, it will a point also, I have also to give out maybe whatever I had, I give it to them, though you create that joy, then maybe you as a man, you can find other ways, um, you can try as much kidogo pate debt, maybe from a friend, you know, who ambe ataku understand. But also with time, inafika mali unafil pia, hao marafiki pia, hao ku understand. So you just come open to your parents and tell them, you know what, sayi kidogo kumekuwa kugumu. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to thank my parents because at times they understand me. Yeah, so honesty, honesty, it's because it if you, you're not honest, mm -hmm. I think kutajipa stress. And us as men, when we when we provide we feel we feel just happy 
Mm. When we see, <coughs> when I see my mom is happy, when I see my small sister, my dad, I'm a furai, you know, I just, na feeling it too, ile, niko, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. So, ni kiona hana, kidogo inani, so inabidi tu, ile ni konayo, wacha ni mpe, ni tafute venyenta. Yeah. 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 So basically, when I say my father will pick a sim, can they in person? Because it's a longer look like, oh my god, mom, she can't yeah. fair, but so what I'm Yeah, you know. <laughs> true, true. Uh, yeah. But now it takes us to the relatives. Yeah. Because to Shangela was those in our direct family. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those ones can understand. Mm. They can get to a point where say, my nyewe uli ni pati last month, he month neza kubali. Mm. But sa kuna ule anko. Distant, kabisa tam jayo nana, kabisa tangu kwesi ju class 3. Yeah. All of a sudden they hear, Beryl is doing something, na amejishikilia kona kaduka, ame set up pahali. Mm. And then they start calling. Yeah. Then like, unajua sasa mtoto wangu, yeah. pesa siju tutumie, wacha ni nunueka soda. Yeah. How, do you experience things like that? And how do you handle situations where distant relatives call and ask and they do not understand that maybe it is not within your budget? Cheryl, if there's one thing I do, I always tell myself, because I've struggled, I, I, as I've said, it's a journey that I've had. I've had a financial journey, coming out of debt, going back to debt, coming out of debt. There's one thing I say. My money is very, I, ha, I earn it in a very hard way, mm -hmm. very hard way. Mm -hmm. And me giving you my money, it, because it's mine, I always tell my mom, <laughs> it is my money. <laughs> I have to budget it for you. As for me, they all know. Other kama wata watch. I know it our fikia. Mm. I do not give out money. And I give out money. If it is a must, I'll give it out because it's a must. But most of the time I use my mom to mm. pass that money around. Mm. For me, I always say we are struggling. Everyone mm. is struggling. Everyone has problems. That is what I always tell my mom. I like in unajua ule anko yako, ule anti yako, watu. Everybody is struggling. Yeah. Atamina yeah. struggle. Yeah. Because as Maliet said, kwambia mzazi hauna ningumu. Mm. And that's, I think that is now the worst thing I'm now facing. One of my weaknesses with finances, kwambia mzazi sina ningumu. Heri ni kope, ni fanya ni ni mpeh. Because yeah. I feel the pain when they are struggling. Yeah. But now when someone else out of nowhere, Cheryl, this person has never been involved in your life. They don't know even how you're feeling. They don't know how you're changing. But one day they have a problem and they're like, let me call Beryl. Yeah. As for me, just I'm stingy, but it doesn't work for me that way. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> I will talk with care pressure. I don't know. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Because I will not yeah. kill my. I, I'm already killing myself because of my parents and my siblings. Yeah. yeah. I will not kill myself because of a distance relative. Let's yeah. just be true with ourselves. Yeah. Because when you die, these people, their life will still continue. Yeah. yeah. So. And they won't even probably understand that you struggle well, for so them. You know, sometimes in Twitter, because they say, I don't know what I'm establish. There's always that story, actually, yeah. of when you help everyone around you, you've established maybe your, your siblings, your relatives, because mm -hmm. nini kila mtu wa mejenga. Yeah. Alafu wese sa ujajenga, wana kuongelea. Atina hui kwane kwa mejipanga, ninini. Kwane jongi maisha mtu mejipanga. You know, yeah. eh, there's that aspect of sometimes people will ask without even considering you. Mali, do yeah. you experience that? Mtu na kupigia tu ati sasa nitumia 500 urgently. They've <laughs> never even, they've not even called to ask kwa aji unendele yeah. aji. Nairobi ni mesikia kuna maandamano. Mm -hmm. Just get to the point, alafu uspotuma wanaskia vibaya. How do you handle situations like that? It happens a lot actually for people like me and you because we are all over in TV. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> um, the first time uh, wakisikia, oh, mtoto anani, mtoto wetu, because they'll call you mtoto wetu. Mm. Oh, what TV, you know, they think now you have all the money. And it has happened to me a lot of times, a lot of times, yeah. Mm. And um, at times if I have, I, I share. Um, kama, uh, what I'll say is, Kama unasaidia mamangu wa mababangu na babangu na mamangu wa mekuongelelea na nimekusikia kwa story zao, you mm. know, wakisema unajua ule anko kidogo, ule anti, nini, nini. Mm. If I get your call, ntajaribu. Yeah. yeah, ntajaribu because I know at one point umekuwa msaada kwetu. Yeah. But kama sija kusikia. So I'll just 
<laughs> yeah, you know, I'll just call my mom and ask, eh, hey, unajua flani wa flani, eh, hey, basi ya liniambia hivi na hivi, mamangu ataniambia, yeah, okay, saa, so, wacha nitampigia. Yeah. Then mm. my mom will handle that case, or my dad. So you're done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. Now, you know, by the way, I've come to realize, sometimes even as adults, yeah. we have to pass a message through our parents. True. True. You can't say, ati, no, you yeah. like, hey, mom, tebu pigia, nani, flani, ya benitafuta, hey, <laughs> muambie siwezi. Yeah. Yeah, so I want us to, to get into the second part. We'll, we'll talk about how to help these people who are established. Yeah. Yeah. But the way you've said, when people see you on TV, they assume usha omoka, ukona pesa. True. When people see you running a business, wanaona asi huya kona pesa sini biashara yake nini. People don't really know the struggles of what go on behind the scenes. Yeah. Sometimes they don't even care to ask and find out uko aje, umendele aje, nini, 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 nini. So, do you think it's important, Beryl, when you, you've given, the, both of you have said, kama how dream to directly, kama yeah. hujem sikia nini, apana, <laughs> you, pamana na hali yako. Kwele. So, is it important to have a personal relationship already with these distant relatives? In your case, Beryl, would you say it's very, very important? It is. It is important. Because uh, there's no way I'll come to Mali and yeah. tell, tell Mali. And Mali, you being the the son to my mother's auntie. Yeah. You can see the relation is very far. Yeah. I kind of need 500 and I've never been in his life. I don't even check up on him. There's no those random calls. How are you guys doing mm -hmm. with the mandamano going? I don't even check Mali. Nairobi mm -hmm. As for me, I always say that um, if these people are not directly involved and if you don't have a relationship with them, please just stay away. Because yeah. one way or the other, you cannot please everybody. Lack of relationship, it's a lack. We all say lack of communication is a lack of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And we say that when people have a relationship is when you can help out freely. Yeah. No, I want to help you out of my, of goodwill from my heart. And that's why you'll find most of the time we use our moms as our link of uh, passing around the message. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel yeah. a relationship is the key thing first for you to come to m me or to pick the phone and call me and communicate mm. to me about an issue, let's build the relationship first True. before yeah. we monetize it. True. Yeah. Because yeah. True. there's always a sense of, um, you started by saying this, there's a sense of exploitation. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sometimes people feel like because there's familiarity, they can just ask or make demands without mm. establishing a proper relationship. So I want us to take a very short break and then to Kirudi, Let's talk about the impact of black tax on our mental health, how to survive, especially with the economic times. Now, when we can help these family members be self-sufficient in a way that it doesn't become a financial burden on us. So let's take a very short break, but stay tuned to White 54 TV. This is the Power Talk Show, and I am Sherry Blessing.